Slow down, kids, slow down. Hold on, Jesus. The Block Party is a clean comedy show that is oriented for families, for everybody. I'm all over the place. Uh, what is the Block Party? I don't even know, and it's my own show. <laughs> Take two and action. The Block Party is a clean comedy show that showcases the top clean and Christian comedians around the country. Also, it showcases the contemporary gospel artists that, is, that are not traditional. Of course, we see church is hallelujah, oh, holy. Well, the block party just displays a different format of Christianity. It's, you know, it's all right to laugh. It's all right to dance. It's all right to have a good time. So the block party is a form of urban praise and worship. Praise and worship is necessary, amen? But you ain't got to be crying all the time. You ain't got to, you got to come out the wilderness sometimes, amen? You know what I'm saying? Because if James Fortune come out with another song and cry, I'm going to smack him in his throat in Jesus' name. Oh, God. Oh, God. I was looking at myself in the mirror the other day. You ever catch yourself in the mirror? I was looking at myself in the mirror the other day, and it looked like Morgan Freeman was staring back at me. A comedian's comedian, which is Joe Recker, you have to sit and watch, because you don't want to miss what's getting ready to happen. I thought I was watching that movie Lean On Me. <laughs> Settle down, kids, settle down. Move to your class, expeditiously. Okay, as a kid, I remember going to a blog party when I was like nine years old and just running around having a good time. The music was playing, the food was good. Everybody got involved from the owner of the liquor store to the pastor of the church. Everybody had a good time. So I figured, I said, this is a man of God. I ain't no way anywhere he doing this on purpose, letting the devil use him. So I said, I know what I'm gonna do. So I said, I'm gonna give him a hint. I'm gonna make the I smell something stinking face. Small fire is my little Southern Belle, you know, she, they, and her name displays who she is. She is a small fire. But I wasn't even thinking at the time that the I smell some stinking face looked just like the I feel the Holy Ghost face. When I first got into uh, being a Christian or slash clean comedian, I thought that you had to talk about uh, the Bible or church and and what the how many times the pastor said, "Huh." The prayers of the righteous. Uh, Available much. Church is in just in the four walls of the church. It's many things out there. People who talk like me and pray in a different voice scare me. I mean, you know, like they up there talking like this now, then when it's time to pray, they eternal God, our Father. Marcus D. Wiley is so cool, laid back, very clever, very smart comedian. Man, I've been in a prayer circle like this here. Like, man, who is this praying? I bet God would be like, man, who is this? And they wonder why they prayers don't get answered. That's because he don't know who praying. Be yourself. Christian entertainment is hard. Reason being is because you have to be more creative. Anybody can curse. So if I say, man, I walked into the bleep bleep room, you're going to laugh of probably how I said bleep bleep. But in clean comedy, you have to be clever. You have to be smart. Black people, we believe everything we hear, and we add stuff to the story. You know. Mike Washington. When you say his name, I have to smile and laugh because he's a very, very unique person. He's very, very serious in what he does. They say it's too many sharks in the water, and they in the sand. <laughs> In clean comedy, you could talk about just about anything that you want as long as you do it in DC and order. And what that means is it's a parallel to what God says. And when you first get single, you got stamina. You can do that. Amen. Three years go by, you be like, hold on, Jesus. Shanita Morris, uh, which is my cousin, uh, a woman that is on fire for God. She gonna get into heaven. But it get rough. It get rough. Amen, ladies. You know, five years go by, you pull that list back out, you be like, hold on, some of this stuff ain't necessary. 
Rozzy is just a wild man. Uh, he's very, very clever, very, very smart. Uh, how he delivers the punchline, not too many people can deliver like Rozzy. You know you're getting older, you gotta make noise to pick something up. <laughs> right, so you drop your wallet. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> With this show, with this platform, this actually can change the world. I want the blog party to be for comedians, like Def Camp Comedy Jam did for comedians in an urban way, if that makes any sense at all.